Hey, it's the PE guy here today and uh, doing some team building games today, talking about team building kinds of things. And, uh, a couple things to stress. One is that it's not, this isn't race. This isn't trying to be the first one done. Um, it's about being a team and, and working together. And sometimes leaders go last, you know, and, and they lead the team that way. They're not always the first one through. So we really stress uh, leading in that way. So let me show you a few things I made up. And the cool thing is all this stuff is stuff you probably have laying around the gym or can make real easy. So the first one, uh, I typically have 25 kids in a class. So we're looking at about five to six per station. Uh, I'm doing this mostly with third, fourth, and fifth. What I'm doing the first one up here on the stage is all five, six, seven on your team start here. The idea is just to get through this area, through. Uh, you, where am I here? Uh, not over the top, but through here. And you know, one person might go first and stop here, and then lend them a hand and talk them through and say, "Hey, lift your leg a little bit higher." And, uh, but I tell them they can't grab each other, but they can reach a hand out and help steady somebody, and pass them through there, pass them through there, and everybody has together in this area. If you knock anything over, a ball, cups the pole on top of bowling pin then everybody comes back here and you've got to start over so it's working on getting everybody through and we'll rotate about five six minutes the station we'll come over here I made these poles out of PVC pipe little pieces of swimming noodle and pillow polo tops that I taped on top there and the idea is you're gonna hold that pole I'll have somebody over here one person there They'll stand there, they'll set the pole there upright. And I'm on this one over here, same thing in the in the first the first row. And we look at each other, make eye contact, however you want to say go. They're gonna let go of their pole. I let go of mine. I'm gonna run down this lane and try to grab this pole before it hits the ground. They're doing the same thing over here with the pole there, and you'll notice the lanes are offset so we're not running into each other. Uh, but we're off we're offset that way so uh, and if you are both people are able to grab it then you move back to the second row and if you're both able to do it there you go back to the third row so uh, they're doing that working together then we come down here we have a little obstacle course set up and with your partner you blindfold one of them they're not allowed to touch each other they can only talk and you really have to stress with this age I've noticed uh, they'll say, move, move, come forward, come forward. But I talk to them about really being descriptive and really being a good leader and saying, okay, there's a, you're coming to a cone with a, a ball on top of it. Uh, move one step to your right then move straight ahead. Okay, slow down. And, and they really have a tough time giving a lot of descriptive words. Slow down, stop, take one step to the left. Now move straight ahead three steps or whatever it might be. Okay, the road's getting ready to turn right a little bit, so you kind of got to turn to your right just, you know. Uh, but anyway, being real descriptive, you've got uh, a stack of cups in front of you. You can go on the left or the right. Which side do you want to go on? You know, they'll have a really hard time being descriptive. Uh, you're coming up on some swimming noodles. Stop, lift your right foot up and step forward, you know, and, and uh, just being descriptive, not just there's noodles, step over them but telling them you're six inches away from it or whatever and being descriptive. And then they get to the end, they turn around and switch and uh, lead their partner back through that. And then the last one over here, uh, you can call this whatever you want, rafting the river, shark attack. Uh, you've probably seen this or done this, but two mats, everybody starts five or six on this mat and they jump to this mat. You cannot touch the floor. If you do, you start over. Then you've got to get this mat over here so you can move forward and get to the end of the gym and really the, the easiest way or I think the trick is when you're on this mat is to take this mat pass it over your head sometimes they'll want to drag it around the side or they'll just try to scoot 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 and try to slide the mat if they'll just take that one and pass it another thing you can do with the mats is everybody stands on it then they get off they fold it in half everybody stands on it again they get off they fold it in fourths and everybody tries to stand on it again without falling off so you can do that with the mats. And there's a lot of other team building things but I typically have about 25 minutes of class. It gives me five minutes to run through everything like I just did. And uh, then about five, six minutes at each station 
and we rotate through. And again, just stressing that leaders aren't always first. Uh, I say to my kids, the biggest leaders are the biggest servants, and that leaders uh, don't always lead and be first, but sometimes they serve others and they help others through. So uh, have a fun time with that and enjoy it. Talk to you later.